Greetings, boys and girls. Getting right back with more. Let's play Final Fantasy 2. We're going to make our third and final descent into the disc cave to actually finish it off. So let's just get right to it. Uh, in between episodes, I gained everybody at least one MP level, except D's. And I got myself over 500 HP and Layla over 300 HP. And that should be enough to pretty much survive anything they can throw at us. Because this path... Oh, here's uh, the two Gygus battle. Yay, you guys get to see me fail. Hopefully I don't die. I need to put the Cursed Sword on. Uh, let's go after that one. Uh, you Berserk D's there. Hopefully you get to see the kind of insane damage he deals when he gets Berserked. Okay, the back one is Cursed. So that's good. Yeah, she got that off. Four hits with the Berserk. Awesome. But ah, 291 damage. Now that's a non-cursed guy, I guess. Okay, that was probably the cursed guy, I guess. Okay, that might... Okay, it's hard to tell which one is which. He's going to attack that one. He's going to Berserk him again. And they are both going to continue to try to assault this one, who is also now cursed. Yes! We have this battle in the bag. This battle can kill you if you get unlucky and are unable to curse. They'll have it. See? 878 damage. That's that's a one-shot right there. And now, pretty much, he can put his uh, basic sword back on. What I did in between episodes, instead of, also, uh, instead, of just, instead of just gaining everybody one MP level and some HP... Uh, I finished off the sword level that I was working on and the knife level that Layla was working on. So my sword level is also at 6. Oh, it's just brutal. There, that's the two Gygus battle. Man, I got HP up, so did D's. And apparently it drops... Oh, it dropped giant gauntlets. These do pretty much the same thing as the giant helmet. So, since it's also heavy equipment, I don't want anybody to wear it except these, and he's got a giant helmet, so there's no... And the thief hel the thief gloves also increases agility by 10, so there's no reason for me to want to put that on anybody. That is pretty much selling fodder, and it is, frankly, quite a bit of good selling fodder. Uh, he's made himself over 600 HP there. He's a mana for this one. She got her cure up level two. I also uh, taught her the sleep spell just to get the book out of my inventory. I don't think I'll ever actually use it. I tried to cast it once. Clearly it failed. But yeah, you know, very situational. Crowd control isn't much of a priority in this game because if you can pretty much put it to sleep, you can probably kill it with fire. So, eh. A single guy, I guess, and another pair of giant gloves. They're... I think worth about 2,000 gil, which is nice for selling fodder. Uh, there's the poor dragoon. We miss him. All right, here we are. All right, just some more undead that were massacred, but uh, just some souls. All right, now there's a chest down here. We get a mithril helmet that is useless. And there's a chest up here. And this contains a Mithra armor that is entirely pointless. Mithra armor has the same defensive bonus as silver armor, but it, because Mithra is a heavier metal, it has a lower, you know, agility penalty and a lower and a higher in soul penalty. So we want to go. And we want to go over here. There's a treasure chest up there, as well as one here. This is a Mithril Gauntlet. Pretty much at this point, if you don't have Mithril Equipment, then you really are lacking, period. And a Mirror. Uh, what does that do? Another two Gygus Battle. The Mirror casts the Wall Spell on your party. I believe at level 8. I could be wrong. I'm never going to use it, so I'm, don't worry too much about what it actually does. 
some pretty decent HP gains there. Amanda's slowly catching me again. Seems to me that, like, they... Pretty much, if you have a single Gygus battle, you don't even need to Berserk anymore. Just curse it and kill it. Also, this bridge to the left here is a trap. Don't try to walk over it or you will fall down. You actually fall down in the path that contains the Night Armor, which I probably should have used as a shortcut before, but I didn't think about it until right now. <laughs> Third, Giant's Glove. They are really determined to keep giving me those, aren't they? Ugh. <sighs> You want to try to stack as much evasion as you can for Gygus's, because one hit with an uncursed Gygus can easily do 100 damage, and they can hit three or four times, so, you know, you might want to, so yeah, just watch out for Gygus. Alright, uh, this battle, this chest contains a magic cane, and yeah, you guessed it, as with something always important, MONSTERS! <sighs> These are quite possibly the worst designed enemies in this game. They are green souls. You think, oh, they're going to cast like arrow or some other wind elemental spell. No, no, they heal you. Hopefully one does it before they die. If they don't, just trust me on that one. Come on, cure, yes. Cure six to Amanda, just for no reason. And that's all they do. Quite easily, quite possibly, the easiest monster in a box I've ever come into contact with. And we get the magic cane, which is a better weapon for your cane user. And also casts the bolt five spell, or bolt level five, in battle. Uh, I will have Amanda use that until she attains another cane that's stronger. And then I will probably pass it on to my fourth member to uh, use as the item, as Amanda has Bolt already at level 5. So, you know, people say, you know, why do you bother training Bolt if you could just get an item that does the same thing? Because eventually I want the ability to cast a higher level Bolt from level 5. And also, having Bolt at uh, level 5 or more and being able to single target with it is great, because that cane... Is every day beat on Amanda Day? Jeez. It's like, no matter who's attacking, it's like, if they're attacking somebody, they're attacking Amanda. That was an uncursed guy gets attacked. Two hits, 184 damage. So, yeah, you need to be a little careful. Now we're actually on the other side of that bridge there. There's a treasure chest here. This is a mithril shield. That is entirely unimportant. Just want to check something real quick here. I don't want to save. Okay, here's the say. It seems like the hit percentage of the magic cane was a lot worse than the wear cane, but uh, nope, not really. That was just a lucky miss. Yeah, you can run into the six of those soul enemies, and if they ambush you, be prepared for a long wait. You might want to make a sandwich, because six fire two spells on four people is going to take forever to get through. Ugh. So many chances in this area to gain HP. I mean, it's ridiculous. I know I did a little bit of unnecessary grinding for HP, but you really don't have to. I mean, you can just walk through here. Or you can even grind in here if you wanted to. Ah, uh, one more should do it. There. Oddly enough, Amanda, the only one who didn't gain anything. Alright, let's just keep on going. We're almost there. Won't be too long. Uh, you know what sucks? Getting ambushed by two Gyguses. Yeah. It's, uh, not fun. <sighs> These took one hit for 336 damage. Critical, two hit, critical. Uh, I'm slowly, or not slowly, I'm really burning my MP there. All right, here we go. Second to last floor. That seems that no matter what I do, I'm gaining HP left and right. And now I feel like a mook for grinding all that HP for no reason. 
All right, one last treasure chest. They get you're carrying too much. Uh, what am I gonna do? I don't need this. And I get a dragon bean, which does damage to all enemies. Non-elemental, not worth even holding on to. And we have reached the final area. You see the treasure chest being looted before on the bottom there? Alright, we have four doors. And, uh, which one is it? Well, you could try guessing. There, Three of them are empty rooms, and the answer is this one. And we are suddenly up here. Wait, what the hell is that? Am I in good shape? Yeah, I'm in good shape there. What? What is this? Hey, you want to get out of the way there? What? That S space nearby. Ooh! Chimeras! Yay! Curse them. Pretty much the same strategy you have with, uh... Uh, Gygus there. You see, they're pretty physically tough, and they can light you on fire. Even so, 30 to... Oh, okay. I was wondering, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hopefully they don't do that too much, because that would suck. Alright, get rid of... He cursed one. Ow. That must have been the cursed one. So they can all hack at that one. They have no elemental weaknesses. So don't worry about it. I'll berserk myself. Why not? And just keep attacking. Hey, we've got them both. Woohoo! They have about uh, 600 HP, I think. Something like that. They're not. They're not as much as Gygus is, I think. Don't quote me on that one. I mean, really, read a walkthrough if you really want to know. Yeah, see, that was about 600 damage, and it's dead. Let's get my wing sword back on. And heck away. And I can even join in the fun of attacking. 407, 108, yep, about 600 damage, because I don't think he did any with his first attack, maybe like 20. Why am I getting soul up for no reason? Oh, she got hit. Okay, the two women, oh, shield level for uh, Layla there. I think I have to ditch something, so I'm going to uh, rid of this. Why does it keep turning me away from what I'm looking at? Alright, we'll put the egg into... Wait, did that... Oh, that just took away a space. Alright, uh, I'll meet you back at disc then. We'll see what goes on down there. Let me do an easier transition. Let me meet you back at Dist. All right, we're back at Dist at the uh, Hear You Chamber here. See if these people have anything new to say. Aw. You, you just said to hear you. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I hope so. Aw, oh, poor hear you. Well, what do we have to do left but go back to uh, Altea there and report our failure to Hilda. And we'll do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. Until then, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for all your support, and good night.